What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to be looking at the new great case lineup from Nomad for the iPhone 16. In this particular case is for the Pro Max, but they do have these for all iterations of the new iPhone 16. So I wanted to bring you uh, their cases because Nomad is one of the top tier case manufacturers out there. And you're going to get a little bonus. You're going to get a few other accessories like a screen protector for the 6.9. Thing looks huge, doesn't it? It's like an iPad mini almost, just a little uh, slimmer. Uh, and then we're going to actually look at their new tracking card, which is amazing. It's basically an Apple AirTag uh, squished into like a credit card. Um, works as an Apple AirTag, so it'll work with your Find My. And uh, a little card wallet from Nomad in the Horween leather. We've actually featured this before. Um, but hey, I figured it would be a great demonstration to show the little card tracker because, uh, yeah, it's like a little wallet. So, we're going to dive in. We're going to take a look at, what, one, two, three, four, five different iterations of cases that Nomad has out today. So, we're going to start with the most minimal one and we're going to work our way from the sporty case to the rugged case. And then we're going to go to a little more sophisticated. This is more for the stylish look, right? We're going to up the game here with some luxury uh, cases that are leather. The modern leather case or the traditional leather case. Whichever one you want to rock. Um, both, you know, definitely are going to up your style game. But let's go ahead and take a look at the magnetic leather back because this is a very, very cool concept. Okay, it, it manages to give you that very unique leather look but it's only for the back of your phone, so it's very, very minimal. This is definitely not something that you're going to get for protection. It's just a look, and it's also those people that don't like having cases on their phones, but yet still want to rock something. There it is. Look how thin this guy is. Now, basically what you're going to do is you're going to peel off these little uh, adhesive uh, pieces here, and then it's magnetic as well. You can see it supports MagSafe, and it just snaps on the back of your phone. So, just magnetically, I didn't peel off those strips, it, it sticks, but for that extra sticking power, uh, definitely suggest peeling those off. Now, if you want to get into the details of this little uh, snap-on, it is vegetable tan leather, uh, it attaches with MagSafe and MicroSuction, and it is MagSafe and wireless charging compatible, and it is Horween leather, so you get a uh, official leather case or backing. You don't skin your phone. You know, you're not throwing it in a case. You're keeping the natural beauty of the titanium on the sides, right? Definitely no protection for the front. And you get a little raised bezel for your camera, so you're still adding some protection for your lenses, which is really, really good. So when you sit this down, the bezel hits the surface versus your camera lenses and they don't scratch up. So that is a very, very cool look. Very, very minimal. So, definitely, that one's awesome. Okay, now let's move on to the sporty case. Okay, this one happens to be uh, blue, obviously, right? It is navy, navel blue. This one is a smooth, scratch-resistant backplate. Tactile anodized aluminum buttons. TPU bumper offers an 8-foot drop protection, and it is MagSafe and wireless charging compatible. So let's go ahead and pop this open. And we're going to look at a couple different things. Now, the other one, we didn't have to look at the camera control, right? And that might be another big win for this is, uh, for this backer, is it's not going to interfere with your camera control at all. You can still use your camera control uh, un uninvaded with no cutouts or anything, right? It's just going to be natural, so that's kind of cool. So, these magnets are all going to be the same, so I'm going to show you. Uh, the outline here is very, very strong, so that means it's a pretty, pretty good magnet same with this and I've never had an issue with um, Nomad's uh, MagSafe products in fact uh, let me see here let me do the well there we go it's stuck and then boom shake test so they're all going to be the same way if I just line it up there we go you can see Nothing in it. There's no weight, and it still doesn't want to come off. So that's that's pretty pretty good. 
So we got again the TPU bumper, scratch resistant back, got a raised bezel for the camera, we've got the aluminum buttons, we have a fairly deep, but I don't think it's going to cause a problem, touch, camera touch control, again aluminum buttons, microfiber lining, let's go ahead and install this and see how it looks and how it fits. There you go. Really, really nice. And yeah, actually, that's that's really good. No problems with the uh, camera control, as you can see right here. I can definitely use the camera control unabated. No issues whatsoever. That's one of the nicer camera control cutouts that I have uh, reviewed currently. Okay. Um, I have featured uh, the Mujo. That one was a little, uh, it was a little impeded. It made it a little difficult to use the camera control on that one. So um, this one, no problems whatsoever. Nice look. Definitely yay. All right. So we've got the rugged case. Now I've got two different iterations of this. I've got the desert and I've got the black. Okay. So maybe if you're rocking the new uh, titanium desert look, Hey, maybe this one's for you. If you got the black one, maybe this is for you. Even this will look good with the natural titanium. Let's just go ahead and use this one. They're both the same case, just different colors. So we're going to pop this open. And you can see, by the way, Nomad's carbon neutral, so there's not a lot to their packaging. Very, very nice. All right, so we have this one here. Let's read the specs. Grooved bumpers allow for secure grip, tactile anodized aluminum buttons again, fortified bumpers for a 15 foot drop protection, almost doubling down on the Sport Edition, and slim and durable design with MagSafe. Alright, so let's go ahead and pop the phone out of the Sporty case, which by the way, comes right off. Flip that one over, knowing that we've checked it out, and let's pop in the Rugged. There we go. Very, very nice. This adds a lot of protection and it has a little branding there. The camera control, they did a good job with the camera controls. These cutouts are, yeah, no problems whatsoever with the, the camera cutout there. So that's very, very nice. Let's just make sure, let's look at that magnet. Strong as all get out. Just so you can see with some weight. This is probably the heaviest case that they have. It's the rugged case, so it, you know it's it is what it is. It's that's its intent. It's more for a drop protector than anything else. This isn't really for looks, although it looks great. Um, the natural titanium looks really good with it, so can't can't say anything bad about it. The the buttons, I love the uh, grooves in the buttons. This just makes them stand out. Um, you can kind of tell like the action button, the volumes are, are smooth so definitely I like that. Ports look great everything's cut out nicely so I think Nomad knocked it out of the park on this uh, iteration of iPhone cases. I'm super impressed and they've probably done that camera control cut out better than any of them that I've actually seen and I've got a couple videos that I haven't posted yet so those are coming. All right so let's move on to the traditional leather case. Again, this is more for looks, aesthetics, and style. And this one is sustainably sourced full grain leather, full wrap leather design, tactile anodized aluminum buttons, and a MagSafe wireless charging compatible. Again, and this is going to patina. It has this nice carbon fiber interior, very luxurious premium case. Look at that. Oh yeah. That is actually really, really nice case. Let's check this out. Let's do the smell test on this bad boy. Oh yeah. yeah that's got the premium leather smell to it right there. And again you can see this camera cutout is not like the others. This is a full, you can see where this is just kind of a, a hole here. This is a full cut. Let's see how this performs. I'm actually really excited to try this one out. This is probably the one that I am going to be rocking the most. Ooh yeah! I like the traditional looking leather. Okay. Obviously there's no problems whatsoever with the camera control on this one. It's wide open. 
you get these beautiful anodized grooved buttons. Again, smooth on the volume rockers and then the anodized or grooved on this one. Plenty of bezel for the cameras. About a about a millimeter or so leather bezel on the front to cover your display. Ports. This is an enclosed leather case. This isn't an open bottom. And the ports look really, really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at that magnet. Yep. I'm not going to say they're using the same magnet in all of these, so definitely mag safe. Oop. Yeah, same thing. Very, very nice. Nope, I already scratched it. Patina and all. Patina is beginning. All right. Very, very nice. I'm a fan of that one. Now let's move on to the modern leather. This is the brown. If you are wondering, also, I didn't mention the color. It is brown. So this is, again, a full green, uh, sustainably sourced leather. It's TPU bumper for 8-foot drop protection. So that's something you're getting, right? This didn't have the drop protection. This is truly just style and aesthetics. So this is giving you a little bit of a bumper protection because it does have a TPU bumper. Tactile anodized aluminum buttons, MagSafe and wireless compatible. Again, so this is brown. Let's pop this open. Very, very close color-wise. In fact, almost an exact match. I don't know, the traditional looks a little more tobacco-y maybe. If I want to kind of just describe that, it's a little darker, a little tobacco-y, a little more, like I said, yeah, definitely has that traditional kind of a rugged leather look, like saddle, maybe, maybe a saddle brown. All right, let's pop this off. This is definitely not a TPU bumper. It's a little more rigid to get off. And again, this one has that nice microfiber lining, but uh, yeah, this isn't TPU plastic like this one. This is going to give you TPU plastic as the bumper. So let's go ahead and install this. There we go. Very, very nice. Smaller, but the same, uh, same thing on the anodized leather. This has got a cutout for the camera control. Let's just make certain that we can access. Yep. And yep, I'm able to slide and zoom, no problems whatsoever with the camera control here. I just not, I just don't know if I'm going to use that camera control very much. That's going to take some getting used to, right? So, so this TPU gives this um, some drop protection. You definitely get the bezel protection on the camera lenses. The ports are cut out down here. Again, about a millimeter of TPU on the front. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. And we're going to assume it's got the same MagSafe protection, right? Now, screen protector. So, I definitely recommend a screen protector. This is Nomad's solution. There you go. They got a little install, a little cleaning kit, and then boom, you install your screen protector. Pretty standard stuff. Let's see what the uh, hardness is if they list that on here. So they say it's two, dot, two and a half times stronger aluminum silicate glass. Nearly invisible with superior touch sensitivity. Applicator tool for an effortless installation. And compared to standard tempered glass, it has high touch sensitivity and it is nearly invisible. So if you're looking for a glass protector, Nomad actually has that this year. Now, the last thing I want to touch upon is their tracking card. Now, I kind of already gave you a little teaser with this guy. Um, you can see they're actually demoing in one of their wallets. This is their card wallet. This is like a, what, a five, five or six card wallet. Uh, it's also have a middle. So, if I wanted to put this in a credit card slot. Oh, is it just too big? Oh, is it too big? Nope, it fits. There you go. I can put this there. I can also put it on the outside. Like so. What's nice about this card is, uh, one, that it's thin and not an air tag, right? It does use the Apple Find Me. So let's go ahead and just do a quick demonstration. I'll log in. I'll bring up my Find My app. Okay. And Nomad. So just like an air tag, I can't share this because it's got my actual uh, coordinates, right? But I'm going to say, Let's play a sound on this guy. I, I know where this is, it's been tracked, right? So here's the sound.
So, just like an AirTag, I can use this to find my wallet or whatever I put this in. Uh, my business card holder, my, my, my suitcase or travel gear, uh, whatever I want to slide this into. It's thin and very, very compact. You know, an AirTag's compact too, but everyone knows what an AirTag looks like these days and, and they tend to ditch those. They'll go through stuff if they're going to steal your uh, bag or your, you know, whatever. And if they see an AirTag slot or anything like looks like an AirTag, they get chucked. All right. So this kind of a little more protection because it's kind of obscure. You know, it's like, what is that? You know, may not know exactly what that is and just think, eh, you know, looks like a business card, looks like a credit card. And then maybe it doesn't get pitched right away and you can actually get a little tracking time in on it. So a very, very cool tracking card from Nomad as well. And again, you know, that really sweet track with the Find My app. It's thin as two standard credit cards, basically, and it's rechargeable uh, with a five-month battery life. So that's another really cool thing is you can charge this. Um, I believe, yeah, recharge on any Qi or MagSafe charger. So that, a MagSafe charging air tag. Woo-hoo! That's worth it right there. Just right there alone. Because um, those 2032 batteries, you know, they tend to die out. So... And they, you know, it just depends on the life when you lose an AirTag, how long you're going to have, obviously, to track it. But, you know, they're saying a five-month battery life with this guy. So uh, that's pretty good. So keep that charged. And uh, you'll have a five-month window, hopefully, to track anything that gets lost. So that's pretty darn cool. All right. So that brings you the Nomad iPhone 16 lineup. And again, specifically for the Pro Max, they have these models in different colors and also for different phones, right? So you definitely have the iPhone 16 Pro, the iPhone 16, you get iPhone 15s, uh, and then they don't just stop there. They do other Android devices and stuff like that. So um, definitely go check out their website. I'll have a link in the show notes uh, to where you can look and, and browse all the different color options uh, and all the different uh, cases that Nomad has to offer. And while you're there, you know, pick up a wallet. Maybe you want to match your phone case, then, hey, you know, get some aesthetically matching gear. They have Apple Watch bands. They have charging devices, like, you know, for your desk or your nightstand, whatever. Nomad is a great company to go and check out. For the record, they did send these to the channel to review, but they haven't altered this content in any way whatsoever. These are my opinions, and uh, I've had a long relationship with Nomad. I wouldn't bring you Nomad if I didn't believe in them and their products, all right? I don't push stuff that I don't use and don't believe in um, because I just don't want to do that. You, know, you guys come to me uh, for truthful um, reviews and input and stuff like that, and that's what I'm going to give, and I'm going to recommend stuff that I would use, not something I wouldn't, and I would definitely not be paid to say something is great when I think it sucks. All right. So they're not paying me. These were just provided to review. So this is, again, my opinion. And my opinion is they've knocked it out of the park again this year with this iPhone iteration. So iPhone season in full swing. Like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We got a lot of cases coming and a lot of cool videos and a lot of cool gear, accessories, all sorts of cool stuff. You just got to stay tuned because it's coming. As always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.